A giant elm tree that stood in Portland for 150 years is now gone. Yeah, the last of the work to remove the heritage tree is taking place this morning. Fox Hill's Mia Villanueva has a story. I am on Southwest 10th in Jefferson, where the remainder of heritage tree number one, the 150-year-old elm tree, also known as Rose's tree, is being removed. Take a look over my shoulder here. You can see crews hard at work. They are currently taking a stump grinder to what is left of that tree. The crews tell me they are working quickly for any potential of the spread of Dutch elm disease. That is a fungal disease that can spread by insects that were living in the tree. However, this tree did not test positive for Dutch elm, so really this is just a precautionary measure at this point for crews. The 150-year-old tree was damaged by the January ice storm, but despite that damage, Arborist and Portland Parks and Recreation's urban forestry team believe that they could keep the tree alive. But additional branch loss earlier this summer left the tree unable to recover. The process to remove the tree is expected to be done today. The city plans to plant a replacement tree sometime next year. Heritage trees are those that have been formally recognized for their unique size or age or historical significance. And some people have asked whether the wood from this tree will be salvaged. The city tells us there are rules and state laws that limit the distribution of elm wood, again, because of concerns about spreading Dutch elm disease. However, the city is considering ways to repurpose the wood. So we've got this log set up here that's um, about 10 feet long. We're going to mill it up. Um, I don't think it's been decided what will be done with the material yet, but we do have plans to uh, turn it into usable lumber. It's kind of loud here now on Southwest 10th and Jefferson as crews are removing that tree. But a little bit ago, some people are lined around the caution tape behind me here, just kind of taking a, a quiet moment, a somber moment as they say goodbye to this 150-year-old Portland landmark. For now reporting, I'm Mia Villanueva.